There are a limited number of daily tickets available for the World Championship of Tennis Finals. Get them at the Moody Coliseum box office, open daily from 8.30 a.m. Good evening. It's time once again to return to those exciting premiere days of radio as KRLD presents the story of another real-life crime fighter on Gangbusters. And now, in cooperation with police and federal law enforcement departments throughout the United States, the only national program that brings you authentic police case history. Gangbusters! Again, tonight's exciting story in just a moment. Oh, the poet said, from the edge of his bed, here's the chance I've been looking for. Opportunity knocks. Seems that Isotox needs a poem that'll sell it on the air. Isotox, Isotox. Let me see, let me think. My brain is on the blink. What can I say for this insect spray? That it's good, that it's great, that it's better than that. Ain't enough. Gotta write me a poem that's surefire stuff. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Isotox insect spray. Ta 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 ta. Made by Ortho. Ta ta ta. Works right away to kill aphids and thrips and mites like it should. Isotox insect spray. Made by Ortho. It's systemic and it's good. Isotox insect spray. Get it today. Gangbusters has asked the Honorable Leonard L. Murphy, Chief of Detectives of the St. Louis, Missouri Police Department, to narrate by proxy tonight's case. Chief Murphy, you've told me that it's surprising how many criminals actually have very clever ideas. Yes, Don Gardner, but in these instances, being clever doesn't mean being smart. If they were smart, they never would have used their talents in the direction they did. Invariably, these clever boys know they have a quick mind, but they overestimate their shrewdness in a quest for lots of money with no work. Well, your case for tonight took place in the city of St. Louis, Chief Murphy? Yes, that's right, Don. And one night not long ago, a young man and a girl were seated in the last row of a mammoth movie theater on Grand Avenue. The last showing of the picture just ended, and the audience was filing out to the strains of the giant Wurlitzer organ. Oh, what a picture. You want to see it over again, you got to come back tomorrow. Okay, a girl can dream, can't she? Sure, it's someplace else. Come on. Oh, honest, Rich. You've got about as much romance as a turtle. It was a wonderful picture. Pardon us, please. Pardon, please. The way he came back to her at the end and then just held her. Oh, gosh, what a picture. Yeah, yeah, great stuff. Rich. What? Where are we going? Home. Where do you think? I'm hungry. I'll buy you a candy bar. Oh, uh, stick here a minute. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I just stick here. I'll be back. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Rich. Rich. How long can I hide behind a flower pot? I got interest in the picture. Come on, let's get this over with. Make it quick and to the point. Don't worry, I like them that way. So you don't get your hair mussed, huh? That's one reason. Well, I believe in advertising. There it is. Treasurer's office. Okay, I'm set. Knock. Right. Come in. The guy out front said to see you. We've got a little... Get him up. up. Hey. Don't move or you'll get a crack on the head. Or worse, maybe. Sit still, bud. Well, here it is. All wrapped up pretty for the bank. Grab it and let's go. What about Junior here? He must get awful sleepy working nights. There, bud. Sleep good. <laughs> Oh, I got a date waiting, you know. You don't have to drag me. Okay, all clear. Get moving. Rich. Hey, Rich. What? Come here a minute, William. What do you want now, stud? It's my tie straight, Rich. Oh, you and your ties. I'll straighten your tie for you. Okay, so I'll use the mirror. 
That it was a nice piece of business last night, Rich. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Now, I'm counting on plenty of jobs like that, Rich. Stud's got to be kept in more of these fancy ties. Well, you'll have enough to hire a van. Uh-oh. You expecting anyone? In the morning? Grab a gun and get behind the door. Okay. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, who is it? Francie. Open up, will you? Francie. All right. Now, look, Francie. Look you... yourself. Hello, Francie. You're up early. Do you want to make something of it, Rape Shape? What's eating you? What's eating me? I'll tell you what's eating me. I open up the paper this morning, and what do you think is staring me in the face? What? That movie house was held up last night, as if you didn't know. All right, so what? Oh, wait here a minute, Francie. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Took me there under false pretenses, that's what you did. Would you felt any better if you knew we were going to do the that's job? That's beside the point. I got better things to do than play decoy for a couple of hundred. Name one thing better. Listen, wolf in wolf's clothing, I didn't come here okay, to talk okay. to you. Okay, okay, get it down to a convulsion, will you? These walls talk back. You can heist all the joints you want, and you can spend all the dough on me. But if I'm part of any job, don't start unbeknownst. I want what I got coming. I'll give you what you got coming. Stud. Uh... By yourself. Let me see if I get you straight, Francie. Uh, you want to go to work? Look, Pappy, I got to pay my rent the same as anybody else. Not with my money, you don't. If you don't like it, Bo Crummel, pick up your pork pie and take a walk. I'm in. Well, not yet, Francie. I have to work out an angle. Oh, that's easy. There's always an angle. Well, you just angled me right out of the picture. Take it easy, stud. I got an idea this is going to be good for all of us. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, sure, sir. Sergeant Walsh. Lieutenant Neal, Sergeant. You still got that theater treasurer with you? Yes, sir. He's looking the pictures over, trying to pick out those two bandits. All right, Sergeant. I'll be right in. Okay, Lieutenant. Well, Mr. Lewis, this will be the last batch you'll have to look through today. Oh, that's good, Sergeant. I have to be at work at once. I can come back tomorrow if you want. Well, we'll see. Just go through those pictures. Take a good look at each one of them, both profile and front view. Uh -huh. If any of those men look familiar, just let me know. I sure will. And just take your time, huh? Okay. Well, uh, it's not this one. Yeah, let's saw it. Oh, come in, Lieutenant. How's it going, Sergeant? Not too well. Mr. Lewis, Lieutenant Nehaus. Mr. Lewis? Hello, Lieutenant. You go right ahead, Mr. Lewis. Hey, sure. If I recognize any of them, I'll holler. Yeah, fine. Looks like a new bunch, huh, Sergeant? Well, he's been through the entire modus operandi file. He, he can't make anybody we've ever handled for robbery. What's he looking at now? Oh, mugs. Hey, bit... Yeah. Did you hit one, Mr. Lewis? Oh, I thought I did. No, this ain't him, I'm sure. Uh, okay, keep looking. Yeah, I will. Yes, Lieutenant, I think we're in for a siege from these boys. Well, let's keep at it, Sergeant. They're new at the game. At least they're up against a couple of old-timers. They've got them on that anyway. What's the matter with going to the Pines, Rich? At least they got some music there you can dance to. I told you Stud's going to meet us here. And I can't think of a better reason for leaving. Listen, Francie, get the chip off your shoulder. We're not going to be any good unless we're a team. Remember that. Ra ra ra, team, team, team. You want something else to drink? Well, as long as I've got a choice, I think... Uh-uh, party spoil. Hello, Rich. Everything's set. Sit down, Stud. Yeah, thanks. I'm fine. How are you? Suddenly sick. Come on, come on. What did Bailey have to say? Well, he didn't exactly go for it like Romeo went for Juliet. That's a nice tie you got on, stud. Is it new? <laughs> it's pure silk. I just bought it this afternoon. It's class, huh? It was a little longer. You could hang yourself with Why, you do... Okay, cut it out. What did Bailey say? Well, Rich, he said he never looked at it that way. He didn't think chain grocery stores would be the ticket. And he got suspicious. But you sold him there'd be lots of dough in those safes. Yeah, but a guy's always suspicious when he gets something for nothing. For you to case 15 or 20 of those stores, a big job, Rich. Especially for free. He wants to know what you're going to get out of it. You told him? Yeah, I told him. I laid it on the line. I told him that after he knocks over so many chain store safes, they'll stop keeping the dough in the safes. And that's when you start your end. And he went for it. But he was still a little suspicious, Rich. I had to promise him something. What? I had to promise him that when he broke into those stores, I'd go along. Just for the ride, huh? Well, if I'm going to do the work or take my split, you know how it is, Rich. Sure, sure, I know how it is. And it's okay? You got to take your pick, Stud. Either Bailey's end or mine. I'll take his end. You're just playing a hunch. 
Maybe they'll take it out of the safe. Maybe they won't. Okay, Stud. I guess you know best. Thanks, Rich. I knew you wouldn't kick. You can do what you like. Only don't come running to me when I get started. I'll be satisfied. Well, I think I'll go call Bailey and say that you put the okay on it. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll be right back. What have you drink? Yeah, strychnine and soda. How do you like that guy? What do you have to be so nice about it for? He just walked out on the team. Rah, 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 team. That's all right, Francie. He leaves everything for you and me. Then tomorrow you gotta start shopping for groceries, baby. In chain stores. Waiter. Waiter, over here. So, Don, the criminal rich engineered a queer plan to set other criminals off on a series of chain grocery store safe burglaries in St. Louis. Now, if you're puzzled how he could profit from burglaries committed by other criminals, you'll see shortly that he had quite an ingenious plan. But he didn't realize that detectives also live by ingenuity. We'll return to tonight's exciting story on gangbusters following this brief pause. How do you want this help wanted ad classified? Well, what do you mean? Well, the Dallas Times Herald has expanded the classifications in our help wanted section. So we can put your ad under help wanted professional or help wanted general. Okay, then if I need a bricklayer? Well, we'll list your bricklayer ad under help wanted general and alphabetically under the B's. The new Times Herald want ads have more classifications and the jobs are alphabetized. Job finding is easier in the new Times Herald classifieds. Call 748-1414. But don't you see? It's a great opportunity, Hank. We'll sell a million of them. Mm, well, maybe. But do we have to get the whole shipment now? Where we put them? It's no problem. We'll just rent a Pilgrim self-service mini warehouse. We lock it. We keep the key. Yeah, you talk like we've already made a fortune. Now, you know warehouse storage is expensive. Listen to me. Believe in me. Mm. You can store stuff at Pilgrim for just pennies a day. You rent by the month, and you rent as little or as much space as you need. And it's self-service, so you don't have to pay extra labor. Yeah, but is this Pilgrim place handy? Yeah, they're all over the place. We can look up in the yellow pages and see which one is the nearest. Well, okay, I'm sold. In fact, you better make that order for two million. This mini warehouse, mini drama has been brought to you by Pilgrim, the anti-clutter people who also build Pilgrim Parks for businesses that need offices and warehouse under the same roof. Now back to gangbusters. You were telling us, Chief Murphy, that the young criminal Rich convinced another gang that they could profitably burglarize the safes of chain grocery stores in St. Louis, and he even went so far as to have his girl Francie case the stores for them. That's right, Don. And soon police reports began to show a plague of these safe burglaries. A chain grocery store was broken into and its safe cracked nearly every night. St. Louis detectives were doing all they could to catch the criminals, but decided, as Rich hoped they would, that precautionary measures were also necessary. Lieutenant Niehaus and Sergeant Walsh were discussing the situation at police headquarters. Three o'clock, be all right with you, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Got them all lined up, have you? Yes, sir. All the district managers, A&P stores, Kroger's, Piggly Wiggly, and one or two others. But, Lieutenant, do you really think they'll go for it? I don't see why not. Yeah. They want to stop these burglaries. The best way to do it, next to catching the thieves, is not to leave anything for them to take if they do break in. Yeah, but some of these stores take in three or four thousand a day, Lieutenant. No matter what kind of trouble we've been having, it's still a sight easier to break into a manager's home than a store safe. Yes, it is. But the burglars won't know the store managers are carrying the money home with them. They won't know where it went. So no publicity on this move. No publicity at all. Oh, uh, pardon me. Yes, madam? You're the manager, aren't you? Yes. Can I help you? I'd like to get a check cashed, if I may. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Company rules were not allowed to cash checks. But I left home without any money. Well, I guess I'll have to go back. Well, if you'd like, you can do your marketing now, and we'll hold the packages for you. No, I think I'll run on home, but... Well, it seems sort of silly rule not to cash customers' checks. If you cash checks, you wouldn't have lost so much money in that robbery you had the other night. Maybe you're right, but there won't be any more money lost in burglaries. They haven't caught the criminals. No, not yet. But if they try it again, they'll find an empty safe. As a matter of fact, they try it in any of our stores, they'll find the safe empty. Really? Well, <laughs> thanks just the same. Hello? Rich? Yeah, Francie, how'd it go? The stores have stopped keeping 
keeping their receipts around at night. Uh-huh. Then the managers must be taking it away with them. Check a few more places around closing time. Okay, General. And if that's the way it is, I'll go to work. Hey, uh, just a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The store's closed tonight. Well, in that case, give me the dough. Oh, what do you mean? Come on, buddy. I'm the collector. Get him up. Hey. Get him up. Please, don't you... I'll take that package. Give it hell, I said. No, you oh. can't. No. Thanks, buddy. Well, I just put out an alarm on that last one, Lieutenant. Good. Lieutenant, I wish we could provide an armed guard for every chain store manager in the city. Where are we going to get the men? I don't know. You know, Sergeant, I can't help feeling that these robberies and safe burglaries are tied up in some way. It's just too neat to be a coincidence. Mm, maybe, but safe burglars and stick-up men just don't run together, Lieutenant. Mm. Now, what about the stolen goods angle? Uh, not much yet. Those burglars must know that cigarettes are just about as hard to trace as money. Guess that's why they went to the trouble to take them along. At least cigarettes are harder to conceal. Well, we're keeping our eye on receivers of such merchandise. Okay. I only hope it comes through before every store in town is touched. Hey, you know what's in here, Rich? Spaghetti. No kidding. Uh-huh. Imagine, the stuff is hard when you buy it. Yeah. Just goes to show if you nose around enough, you'll learn plenty. Yeah, well, there must be something to eat around here that's quick to fix. Oh, take your pick. I got two closets full of groceries. Ready to go in business myself. Uh, apple juice, tomato juice, sauerkraut juice, grapefruit juice, anything. Oh, there's chow mein. Hey, imagine, chow mein in cans. Who's that? Not somebody with more groceries, I hope. Go out and take a look. Oh, sure. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah? Who is it? Come on, Francie, open up. Oh, I knew it was too good to last. Hello, Francie. Come in, come in. Is Rich around? Hey, Rich, come on out. You got lots of company. Hart, Schaffner, and Marks. Hello, Rich. Well, Stud, where'd you spring from? I hear you're doing all right, Rich. Well, I hear you're doing all right. We were until they didn't leave the dough in the safes anymore. It worked out like you figured. I'll bet you're happy, too. Look, Rich, have you, uh, have you got a spot for me? A spot? You should have stayed with me all the while, Stud. You've been rolling in clover now. I guess I would have, but I'm flat. Flat? You guys must have taken plenty out of those safes. Yeah, but there were four of us. It was all right. Well, what happened to the dough? You know, a few clothes. Only a few? Hmm. And I dropped a bundle across the river. Haven't you got sense enough to stay out of a crap game? Oh, yeah, now, yes. How about it, Rich? You take me back in. If you do, Rich, I swear Francie. I... Haven't you got anything left? No dough. What, then? Well, I, I got two cases of cigarettes we took out of one joint. What do you say, Rich? <laughs> Nothing to him. But, Rich, you... You were... had your chance to stick and you didn't. What do you want, charity? Okay. That's the way you feel about it. Get rid of those cigarettes. They ought to bring you a hundred or so. Yeah, I guess I'll have to. But be careful where you sell them. Don't worry. Well, thanks just the same. Put some of your suits in, Hawk. They ought to keep you for a month. I did already. How oh, so long? Take it easy. There goes my pal. He's a bum. A bum with shoulder pads. Yeah. Maybe I should have taken him back. Are you losing your mind? Whenever he gets picked up for anything, he'll holler from here to St. Joe. Ah, who's going to pick him up? Nobody, I guess, but only I hope he's careful about getting rid of those cigarettes. They involve too many people. Hello, Lucius. Huh. Oh, it's sir. Hello, sir. Just a minute, just a minute. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One hundred and eight. What are you doing? Figuring out your income tax? Yeah, inventory, my boy. Just inventory. It's on your mind, Stud. Busy today. Very busy. Look, Lucius. Well, what is it? What is it? I'm a little short of cash. Well, I'm not so long on it myself, my boy. Not long at all. I wasn't asking for a loan. It's a good thing. Because you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. Could you use some cigarettes? Stud, you know I don't smoke. Quit years ago. Come on, Lucius. Cigarettes. How many you got? How many? Two cases. Old goals, both of them. There's not much of a market for cigarettes these days, Stud. Not much. <laughs> when you're buying something, there's never much of a market, is there, Lucius? Well, it's the risk, Stud. It's the risk. Where'd you get them? I got them. Isn't that enough? 
Forty dollars for the two cases. Forty dollars. Forty. There's a hundred cartons there. Forty dollars, Dad. You're a thief, Lucius. Maybe. Maybe I am. Forty dollars. <sighs> okay. Where you got these cigarettes, Where? They're out in the car. Oh, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Let's get them. Um, you got the 40? Dad, I'm surprised at you. Come on. Yeah. Where's Rich these days? I haven't heard from him in quite a time. Quite a time. Oh, he's a big shot now, Lucius. He don't deal in nothing but cash now. It's too bad. Which is the car? It's the convertible there. Nice, nice. Where'd you get it? I borrowed it. Well, come on, come on. The cigarettes. They're in the trunk. Forty bucks ain't much money, Lucius. More than you got. <laughs> you get the point. There they are. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get them inside. Come on, the 40 bucks, Lucius. Oh, yes, the 40 dollars. Well, uh, the tens do. Anything. 10, 20, 30, 40. Thanks. Inside. Inside with him. You take the other. Okay. Come on, come on. Wait, let's shut the trunk. 40 bucks. But well, the market is bad, stud. Very bad. All right, you two. That's far enough. Cops. Drop those cards. Oh, please. Drop them. See here, officer. I'm a legitimate businessman. Legitimate. Your record says different. You. Where'd you get those cigarettes? What do you think? They fell off some truck. I see here, Captain. I'm, I'm not a captain, and you're under arrest receiving stolen property. Stolen property? Those cigarettes were taken in a burglary. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What burglary? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any burglaries. Now we'll see how much you know about burglaries and also a few robberies. Come on, both of you. I see here. I said come on, and I mean it. Rich, I just can't sit here and listen to you cry in your beer all night. I'm telling you, Francie, I made a mistake turning Stud out. I should have taken him back. Yeah. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling, too. I've got a feeling it ain't Christmas. If you took him back in, that's exactly what it would have to be, Christmas. Francie. What? We're getting out of town. For crying out loud, why? And to where? Who cares? Any place. Get back tonight. We're leaving in the morning. Okay, Admiral, you got a passenger. Then come on, let's get out of here. Well, not so fast. Let me finish my drink. All right, but make it snappy. Yes? Sergeant Walsh, Lieutenant. I just put this stud character back in the holdover. Did you get what you wanted? Everything. He sang like a soprano at the Met. We'll want to make simultaneous pickups tonight. I'll need a few squads. All right, Sergeant. Take anybody you want. Uh, do you want to come along, Lieutenant? Yeah, if you're short-handed. Well, it's not exactly that, Lieutenant. There's one of these birds I want to collar myself. A guy named Rich. He's the one that had this brainstorm, and I figured you'd like to be in on it, too. By all means, Sergeant. I want to be among the first to meet this Rich. Okay. Hold it here, Stud. Yeah. Now, which door is it? It's that one there, the second one. Myers, Klein. Right. On past the room. Yes, sir. Kelling Craft. Yes, sir. Stick at the head of the stairs. Yes, sir. You set, Lieutenant? Let's go. Go on, stud. I said go on. Okay, you don't have to shut me. Now you stop at the room, knock on the door, and say it's you. Now, look, I gave you guys. You'll do like you're told. them, and then get back out of the way. You sure they're in, Sergeant? I hope so. Knock again. Yeah, who is it? Go ahead. Answer. Who is it? It's me, Stud. Oh, it's Stud. Okay, just a second. Get back there, Stud. Stud, honest! Police officer. Well, there he is. Hey. Don't move, Rich. Me, you don't take. Watch him. There's a gun on the dresser. Yeah. Right. Ow. You grab him. Go. Ah. Yeah. Well, hold him. <laughs> now, there's no sense in crying about him, sister. Uh, the two of you will be separated for a long time. <laughs> for good, I guess. So, Don, that was how the young bandit with an idea learned the police also have ideas. Rich and all his accomplices were taken in custody. Subsequently... 
He was sentenced to a term of 12 years in the Missouri State Penitentiary. Well, thank you, Chief Murphy, for this absorbing case history. And gangbusters, congratulations to the police officers who rounded up this troublesome gang of criminals. On KRLD, you're reliving the exciting days of early radio. Tonight's broadcast of Gangbusters will continue following this brief pause. You know, a good time to go and see your nearby State Farm agent is when your auto insurance is up for renewal. He may just be able to save you some money because for most Texas drivers, State Farm has rates that are 15% less than rates set by the State Board of Insurance. Call your nearby State Farm agent soon. You'll find him in the yellow pages. Live coverage of the World Championship of Tennis will be brought to you in part by Eagle Lincoln Mercury, the world's largest volume Lincoln Mercury dealer at 6116 Lemon Avenue. There are a limited number of daily tickets available for the World Championship of Tennis Finals. Get them at the Moody Coliseum box office, open daily from 8.30 a.m. Tonight's case was dramatized by Stanley Niss and directed by William Sweets, with Paul Stewart and Florence Robinson in leading roles. Don Gardner speaking. Gangbusters is a Phillips H. Lord production. And that's tonight's KRLD presentation of Gangbusters. Be listening again one week from tonight at the same time for another story of a real-life crime fighter on Gangbusters. Tomorrow night, KRLD invites you to relive again the timeless and thrilling escapades of the Green Hornet. That's tomorrow night at the same time on KRLD. Research Bureau survey reports KRLD Dallas continues Dallas radio station.